Next of Kin is an Australian horror film which was filmed around Melbourne and country Victoria. A woman by the name of Linda Stevens inherits her mother's estate which is used as a retirement home for the elderly. Linda finds her mother's diaries and reads through them in which her mother describes being unsettled in the home and believing someone is watching her. Linda also finds handwritten medical records for her aunt Rita, which is surprising to her as she was told Rita had been dead at the time they were written. Is Aunt Rita still alive? Is she stalking the house, murdering residents? Linda soon starts to feel like she's being watched. Next of Kin is directed by Tony Williams. It was released in 1982. Now the film was first brought to my attention by Quentin Tarantino. Next of Kin, that stars John Jarrett, and it literally is a horror film quite unlike any other. It's truly unique to itself, and I think that's a real, real terrific thing. So I thought to myself, I've never heard of Next of Kin, but I should check it out. Tarantino loves it. Why not? So I just bought the Blu-ray uh, release through Umbrella Entertainment, who are the best. And I couldn't believe it when I watched it. It is such a great movie. And I thought, well, let's see where it was made, as I often do. Now, at the start of the movie, Linda, who is the main character of this film, is driving across country Victoria, around here, I'm guessing, with a little boy called Nico and they come to a diner. Needless to say, there's a fire man on lighting fires in the open right now. One of the first scenes in Next of Kin, we have Linda, who is driving up this road, and she's dropping off Nico, a little boy, to his father, who runs a diner. Now, in the movie, they've blocked off Westland's Westland Road, up the end there at that intersection, and there's a shot of Linda driving into, turning left into the diner, which was here. This is the, the location of the diner. And the diner was actually built for the movie. It wasn't a real diner. You wouldn't have a diner out here. This is a pretty remote location. And at the end of the movie, where Linda is looking at the diner, and then she gets into her car. Her car is facing this way, and she starts the car and takes off and goes this way and drives down Outlook Crescent. And you can actually see through her car window, you can see that gate there. That's behind those little boxes. I'll try and get a better look at it. That's the gate there. And the, the final act of the movie, which I'll get to later, was down that road. So Linda's sitting in the diner and she's talking to the owner, Harry who I recognise from a commercial from the 1990s for Yellow Pages. Problem with my Google deal, and I was wondering if G-O, G-G-O. G-O, G-G-O. G-G-O. Not the da. Anyway, there was another commercial as well where he was trying to back out of his driveway and there's a stack of Yellow Pages behind the rear tire. It doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, that's the guy. What are you going to do with that big house now, Linda? Huh? I'm currently in the suburb of Keelor, and behind me is Over Newton Castle, which is or was Montclair in Next of Kin. Montclair is a large home that Linda inherits from her mother, and it's a place where it's a rest home for elderly people, and that's sort of uh, where the story starts. So, a lot of scenes were actually shot on the grounds, and we're going to go in there and have a look at as many as we can. There was a couple of scenes shot inside over Newton, but not that many. I think there's the spiral staircase, which I'd love to see. Hopefully I can get in there and see it. But for the most part, the 
interior scenes were shot at another location, which I'm going to go to later on. Okay, here I am at Over Newton Castle. And I think the first location in the film is just around the corner here. So let's have a look at that. Matt, what are you doing? Hmm? Watering the flowers. Get it. I think it's going to rain. I think this is in the film. You can see that little like it's got a little piece has come away from it. It's broken off. Here, grab this. Hope it's a good storm. I like the rain. Yeah, when the elderly woman arrives with the guy uh, in the pouring rain, lightning hits a tree somewhere around here, preventing them from driving closer to the building. And then they make their way to the castle, or Montclair. That was all here, on this road. You can see that lamp there and this, uh, I don't know what to call this, some sort of, uh, what is this? It's just a thing. I don't know. It's still here. That's all that matters. Can't explain what it is. This is the spot where Lance pulls out the beret in this little area here. Now, apparently the fountain that's in the film was broken when some kids were playing on it sometime in the past, since the film, and it broke, so we don't have the little fountain anymore. It has the blood coming out of it. Mom. get you back to bed. That's the garage where Linda parks her car in the film. You see a couple times Linda walks along this driveway here to her car there. The garage was rebuilt at some point because a tree fell on it according to the owner. And so that's it there. Linda goes to Trentham, which is the town of Victoria. And this is the spot where Linda is standing in front of a hotel waiting for Barney, who's played by John Jarrett. He's an old boyfriend or something like that. And they meet, they meet up here and then go to the cemetery. And we'll check that location out too. Yeah. Oh, busy <laughs> It's a busy town. <laughs> yeah. Um, right after Linda leaves, one of the residents at Montclair drowns in a bathtub and there's this awesome shot, overhead shot, of a woman that works there and a couple of the residents pulling this deceased person out of the bathtub and it's shot from above looking down. It looks fantastic. Yuck. This water stinks. I hate dead flowers. You know, I didn't miss her at first. She had secrets. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, what I do is I pick out something in the frame that's unique. So I picked out a particular 
gravestone, which is a big square gravestone with a, a headstone at the end of it. And that absolutely works because here it is. So that means Linda's mother's grave, where Linda is kneeling, replacing the water in the vase, is here, which is just empty stretch of grass, of course. There you go, that wasn't hard. This is the corridor where Barney and Linda are walking. So. Lucy Parker, the fat girl? God, no. None in New Guinea. This place for her. <laughs> Doreen Lawrence. No. <laughs> I don't want to know. Molly Fleming. Now I'm currently in Turak. The reason I'm here is because the interiors were shot in a house on this street, Illawarra Crescent. And the house is called Illawarra House, which makes a lot of sense. And the house is just over here. Now the scenes on the ground level were shot in this house, not the scenes that were upstairs. The scenes upstairs were a set, but this house behind me is a huge place. I think it's a school or something now, so I better be careful about videoing in it. But yeah, I just thought I'd come here. Come in. Not going out, Linda? No, I changed my mind. Now, when you've all got your hats and your coats and your scarves on, please go straight to the bus outside. Is that clear? Straight to the bus, where you'll be helped aboard by Simon and myself. Don't leave your purse behind here. Somebody will take that. Now, has everybody got a warm thing? She was very upset. Perhaps she found out I was lying. Does it matter now? Of course it matters. Someone's been at the fires. So you've got Connie and Dr. Barton, who are quite possibly the most suspicious characters I've ever seen in a film. Don't go digging into the past, Linda. It's gone. Forget it. It doesn't matter when she died or how she died. She died, that's all that matters. <laughs> There's no red flags here. She's dead, all right? Don't ask any questions. Thank you. And then you've got Connie who's like, oh, nothing's going on, you know. Old people like to turn on the taps in the bathroom and leave them running all night and then go back to bed. That's normal, everything's fine. It's probably one of the old folk. Okay, in order for me, a little bit of plane to like Let's wait for the plane to go. Okay, in order for me to get inside and see the staircase that's in the film that's inside Over Newton Castle, we've got to do the high tea and tour of Over Newton Castle. Yeah, pretty good. And we're going to get a tour, be able to go inside, and then we're going to have lunch or a high tea. So we're back at Over Newton just to look at the staircase. Yep. Excited? Yeah. Um, the uh, talk show start off in the um, private party. Yeah, and then uh, we'll swap over, and then we'll go out to the garden. We'll go around the garden. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, let's go in. Okay. When we bought the house, it was nearly to the falling down stage. They never retained, maintained it. Only in the reception area. Come on, girls. Don't be shy. And uh, this is um, so. I've always been interested in history. And this is the history of Queen Victoria. I've never been out. I, I just want to buy a pair because they're worth a lot of money. I've just discreetly stepped away from the group just for a moment just to have a look at the stairs because I'm not sure if I'll get a chance later. And yes, here they are. There's a scene where Linda's walking up the stairs in the film and she looks up at the top of the staircase and there's a window.
And later in the film, there's a, a scene where Linda is running down these stairs and she looks scared as hell, running for her life after an attempt is made on her life. There's a character called Carol who comes into the film and you see her for a second in a red car and Linda comes out of that door and then sees her drive off and she's confused as to what's going on. Carol! And she walks down here. So Linda walks down here. Um, after she's seen, you know, Carol with her throat slashed. Oh, someone got their throat slashed? In the movie. Talking about the movie. Oh. It's very exciting to be in the same yeah. spot. They did a film here. They, they were here for a week. They used to bring their staff by bus. <laughs> Two big buses of staff, you know, because I don't know if you make a film, they have a hell of a lot of people mm. and that, you know. And because they've got to bring uh, their, um, got to bring a catering business, they've got to have a, a first aid thing, and they've got all these things mm. to have to make a film. So How do you know what to charge for a film crew to come? Because they've got to give you money, take. sure. <laughs> yeah. Do you negotiate? Yeah, Emma <laughs> negotiates. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we've had a, if you put up too high, they don't come back, you know. Yeah. So it is a negotiation. And that. Just having my high tea here. Got my scone. Jam and cream. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Despite the bad lighting at the time, I did get a shot of me on the stairs. And it was a very interesting tour and definitely worth a visit. Next of Kin is a spooky tale that's slickly directed by New Zealand director Tony Williams. It's intriguing and at times visually reminiscent of Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. But it does have its own style and imagery that's hard to forget. I deliberately left out the main spoiler of this film because if you haven't seen it, you should. Well, we return to where we were at the start of the film, Outlook Crescent. The diner, Linda, arrives at the diner, she's being chased by And Nico's in the diner and apparently Harry's off shooting rabbits. Nico! Nico! So we never see Harry or find out what happened to him. So they wait in the diner. When uh, Linda drives off, she gets to the car with Nico and they drive off this way, down this road. And you can see these same trees are in the film, same type of trees. And that's the end of the movie. That's the end of Next of Kin. Great film. It is interesting to point out that uh, Linda and Nico are making their escape and they drive down that way and guess what? That's a dead end. You can actually, that's Outlook Crescent is a no through road. Um, <laughs> so I don't know what happened when Linda's driving, going, we've got to get away, we've got to get away, and oh, into the road. So I don't know why Tony Williams didn't have them go down that way, because at least that road goes somewhere. So uh, just a little bit of movie trivia there. Well, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Get out and see Next of Kin if you haven't seen it, it's a great film. I don't know why someone doesn't remake it, honestly. Well, what's the point? It wouldn't be as good. Anyway, I'm going to go home now. Goodbye. It's a dead end. It's a dead end. It's a stupid end. Oh my god. I can't you rehearse these things, but honestly, you're an idiot. Dead end. He's done. He's good. <laughs>